Welcome to Lockhead on Marketing, where we're trying the world's first marketing pod storm. 30 days of strategies and ideas to help you create the future of your choosing. Hey ho, let's go. Thanks for pressing play. I sure am glad you are here. Uh, Today, let's talk about a few very simple ideas that uh, can help drive revenue for both B2C companies and B2B companies. Uh, My friends at NetSuite want to help you gain the visibility and control you need in your business. So visit netsuite.com slash different. And while you're there, you'll be able to pick up the new paper, Managing Business Uncertainty, and schedule a free product tour. Uh, NetSuite, NetSuite from Oracle is a complete ERP system in the cloud, and uh, now is the time to get clear on your numbers. So visit netsuite.com slash different. And my friends at Splunk want to help you turn data into doing. Visit splunk.com slash D, the number two E, as in data to everything. That's splunk.com slash D to E. All right, a few simple ideas. Let's start with some B2C ideas. Um, here's what's clear as, 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 as we come back, hopefully as we open up, I prefer that as we open up, um, it's time for B2C companies to get radically visible in their communities. And a way to do that is to be thoughtfully aggressive and radically generous. So a couple ideas, sponsor some shit, uh, food bank fundraiser, any kind of a charity fundraiser, but be associated with uh, helping to make good things happen in your community in a way that is very generous uh, and that lets people know you're back in business, you're opening up in business, you're available. Um, Here's another, here's a wackadoo idea. I live in Santa Cruz, California, and there's a lot of wackadoo here. So sponsor a feel-good parade with kids. Um, Get people out celebrating, having fun. You've seen all the videos and stuff about people singing and all the uh, sort of new model commencements that have been going on and stuff. So throw a feel good parade in your neighborhood uh, and include other businesses, include other organizations and just have some fun and get visible. Uh, you could hire some actors or some, some uh, drama students to put on funny costumes and put on a play or some uh, kind of an improv in front of your uh, establishment to kind of let people know you've opened back up. You know, we've all seen the mattress store with the person standing there waving the um, waving the sign up and down and dancing around. Well, do that a, a times 10 and make a real fun thing of it. And then whatever sort of stunt or, or charitable thing that you're being that you're doing, you're being associated with. Um, if you heard the uh, episode uh, we did with Jeremy Ryan Slate, A lot of local TV, radio, and newspaper are looking for stories, particularly feel-good stories. And a feel-good story about a local business that's that's, uh, opening up and that's trying to do good things and trying to do fun things and funny things uh, in the community, that's a story that local uh, media want. Um, Give away shit. Give away fun fun shit. Uh, If you don't have products that sort of lend themselves to uh, giveaways, giveaway gift certificates or coupons uh, for a discount at local restaurants. I bet you if you went to a couple of your favorite local restaurants and said, hey, um, uh, we're opening up. And um, one of the things that we'd like to do is um, is give away some things to stimulate our local economy. Would you be willing to give our customers a 10 percent discount or a two for one on beer or something at your restaurant? They're going to say yes. Great, create coupons with your logo on them, do things like that. Here's another fun creative idea. Make homemade hand sanitizer. It's not that hard, we've done it. And give them away in a bottle with your logo on them. Give them away to your cops, your firefighters, and tell the media that you did that. Get photos of you delivering hand sanitizer to the firehouse. Um, Make masks or face covers with your logo on them. line is now's the time to be generous in our communities and now's the time to be visible so let the people in your neighborhood in your neighborhoods that you exist that you're opening up and um and uh and 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 you want their business radically generous thoughtfully aggressive make it creative make it fun make it playful uh try to do some good all right on the b2b side similar sort of simple thoughts 
Uh, let's get practical and tactical. Old school, cold call named accounts and email named accounts. Now, if you're in the B2B space I and you're not, I highly recommend you get on a named account model because, you know, and we could do a whole podcast about this, but the net of it is when you're on a named account model, our, your salespeople and your marketing people know exactly wh who to go after. So in this case, where we're trying to drive revenue now, pick the named accounts that you think uh, have the most promise and go right at them, cold call them and email them. And try to incorporate the same principles we talked about for the B2C companies. So, for example, you could call somebody and leave them a voicemail and say, Hi, dear Betsy, uh, this is Christopher calling from uh, Megatech Ding Dong Corporation. And um, we made a $100 donation in your name to the Dallas Food Bank in an effort to be generous at this time. And candidly, we wanted to make you like us enough to invest 10 minutes for a phone call session. Please call me back. Well, I don't know about you, but if I got a voicemail like that, I would probably call the person back. You can do that in email as well. And if for whatever reason um, you you and your team can't do that, you and your, your sales organization can't do that, well, there are digital agencies that can help you with the emails. There are appointment setting companies that can help you do um, a cold calling and set up appointments directly for your sales force. No matter what, here's what I'm telling you. There are prospects out there that are your ideal use case, are your ideal avatar that are waiting to hear from you. And uh, now's the time to get old school, reach out and touch them and try to do something creative and something radically generous to get their attention and hopefully uh, set up some phone calls that begin to build relationships that begin to turn into revenue. All right. We would like to thank the good folks at Atrenet, A-T-R-E dot N-E-T, building websites in Silicon Valley for over 20 years. Check them out. My friends at Spiro.ai are a proactive relationship management software company. They want to help you close more deals with the power of AI. Visit S-P-I-R-O dot A-I. Also, if you're in the tech industry, check out uh, one of my favorite podcasts, the Cloud Wars Live podcast with my friend, Bob Evans. I'm a regular guest. I'm on once a month with Bob. We have a lot of fun. He has a lot of smart people talking about what's going on in the tech industry and the cloud industry. Check out Cloud Wars Live. Need to remind you that today's information is provided to you solely for informational purposes. And the creators of this podcast more than likely have been consuming libations. We are edited by living podcast legend, edited and produced by Jason DeFilippo. Uh, technical Excellence in uh, Lockhead.com by Jamie J and Sarah Knox. Show notes by Diane Gervasio and Awesomeness Scheduling and Keeping My Ass in Line by Candy Dandy herself. The thought I'll leave you with comes from Zig Ziglar who said, for every sale you miss because you're too enthusiastic, you'll miss a hundred because you're not enthusiastic enough. All right. Thank you so much for um, the gift of your time. Stay healthy, stay legendary. And until we're together again, Follow your different.